Hi. Hi, my name's Kelly. And can you tell how happy I am and how much joy I have in my face? And can you see the light coming from my eyes? During this year of 2020 with COVID and the shutdowns and all of that, I'm living in the same world you are. And yet I have this joy that's filling me constantly. And it's pretty amazing because, you know, I just turned 70 last week. And people say I'm getting looking younger and younger. Three years ago, a lady guessed that I was 72. I, and nowadays people are amazed when I tell them that I'm 70 years old. And what's particularly amazing about it is that I have a broken back. And I've been sitting almost all the time for the last 10, 11, 11 years. All right? So... And you would think that somebody my age, 70 years old, who's sitting all the time, I don't like exercising, that I would have no muscle, right? Because you would think of think of the 70-year-old people in your life, and do they have muscle if they've been sitting all the time, or is there nothing there? So I want to show you the muscle that's in my arm, all right? So I'm just going to pull up my sleeve up here, and look at this. There's muscle in my arm. It's an actual muscle. That's pretty extraordinary, isn't it? How can I be so happy, so healthy? Oh, by the way, I've lost about 100 pounds in the last three years. That's pretty exciting. All because of my invention, the heartfelt energizer and the whirling bliss machine. So I'm going to be sharing that with you in a moment. But first, I want to show you with a dumbbell, it weighs 30 pounds that I have strength, too. So let me reach over here and get it. It's quite heavy. And uh, get it up here. And I'll show it to you. Here it is. Uh, it's hard to even get it so you can see it. There it is. 30 pounds. I haven't, I haven't touched this in over two months now. Well over two months. Maybe three months. All right, so let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times, eight. Eight times. Whew. <laughs> I could probably do another one, but I don't want to have a sore arm. <laughs> so that's sitting there good. All right, so how can this possibly be? And oh, let me stop and just say this. What I'm telling you, basically, or sharing with you, is that there actually could be an answer and a solution to the entire problem that we're having now with the combination of the virus that's, that's making people sick and the shutdowns and and the all the other things that are going on, people not being happy. And I also want to add, I remember last year, you know, here down here in Florida, we had a week or two straight of 99 degree weather. And it was, you know, people were, it was a topic of conversation all the time. People were really irritated by the heat. Maybe you've noticed that too, that, you're, that it just feels really, really hot this year and, and last year. And, and it, probably not any hotter than it was. And I was walking around with three layers, including a wool vest, because I'm a test pilot, being an inventor. And so I was wearing a wool vest, and I had this t-shirt on. It's a bamboo t-shirt and, and this hat. And I would sometimes wear a wool hat. And so I had three layers because of the vest and two shirts. And I was just like, yeah, it feels warm, but I felt comfortable. And then one day in the evening, it was about 7 o'clock, I went outside. It was about 90 degrees. So it was, it was 9 degrees cooler than what it had been at, at, right at that time. And I didn't have my gear, the things that I use that enable me to handle things more easily. And I didn't go 20 yards. And, and I was saying to my friend, Wow, this is really hot. And then it dawned on me I didn't have it. Like in this hat, I have 
I have eight bliss discers. All right, and these are some of the tech, this is some of the technology that I use. So it was really hot. I noticed the heat, even though it was 90 degrees cooler, and it was irritating. And you may be experiencing the same thing. And I'm going to explain to you in a bit why it feels that way to you. All right. So here's the deal. And and I'm going to talk a little bit of biology and stuff and, and science, but I'm going to put it in hopefully in terms that are real, real simple. You don't have to understand it, you know, and we don't need a we don't need a, a, a double blind random study because you know you use light bulbs, right? And you remember the double blind random study on light bulbs? Me neither. We just know that when you turn on the switch switch, the lights come on, right? And this is the same kind of thing. You can see it right here. I am getting younger. I feel happy despite this being the worst year of anybody's life, right? We have never had a situation like this in my lifetime or going prior, unless you were a soldier in World War I, you know, in, in, with, in those trenches and stuff like that. I mean, that was probably pretty horrible for those guys, you know, and some of them didn't come back. But anyway, um, so what is the deal? Why is it that I feel so great and I'm so happy? It comes from knowing the secret of life. In fact, there's a book called The Secret of Life, and, and much of what I've developed has come from that book. And it talks about the actual physical things that make our body work. All right? And also from a textbook, uh, a, a physical science textbook, textbook. And it said in that book, and it blew my mind, it said, you know, we think of gravity is being a strong force, and it certainly is because it can keep a train stuck to the ground or a truck or a building, right? Try to lift a, try to lift a car up and you'll see how strong that force is, although scientists call it the weak force. Why do they call it the weak force? Because, because the electron force is a thousand trillion 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 times stronger. Isn't that amazing? It's a thousand trillion 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 times stronger. Now, the proton and the other little things in there like the neutrons and the electrons comprise all of matter, all of life. There is nothing in the physical world that isn't composed within those two parameters. All right, so it has everything in between those two things. So, the, the amazing thing is, is that we have that power of a thousand trillion 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 times stronger than gravity, not only in all of our 75 trillion cells, but in, and not only in every atom, but in every electron of those atoms. So some of those electrons have many, many, many electrons. So this is something that you already have. It's not like, oh, I don't have this. Well, of course you have it because you are a living being. Every cell in your body is comprised of atoms, and those atoms are comprised of protons and electrons, and you have that powerful force in your body. Isn't that amazing? You know, there, there are only, what, 7.7, 7 7.8 billion people on Earth. Well, the power that you have is a thousand trillion, trillion, trillion. So that power that you have is more than the number of people on this planet, on this Earth. And your body is, is totally comprised of that. So the secret is, how do you get those things to work for you to their maximum potential? Right? Well, as it turns out, according to the book, The Secret of Life, by 
George Zlokovsky, who, who died back in 1941, um, got hit by a car. Uh, we're made up basically of, uh, uh, what's the word? It starts with a C. <laughs> um, we're made up of, of, of insulators and conductors. C is the conductors. You see, and that's the insulator is the, is the proton, the conductor is the electron. And everything is made up of that, regardless of how com complicated it gets. Everything. Because, you know, our body is just made up of these protons and electrons, and it's only by them joining together in certain ways that they, that they look different and they perform differently. But everything is made up of those two things. The conductor and the insulator. So, this is amazing, because now we know, first of all, we know that we have this power within us that can make us happy when they're working correctly, and it's, it's an effortless thing. I don't have to try to be happy and enthusiastic and, and joyful and filled with bliss. That's our natural state. It's, it's a law for you to feel that way despite everything that you're feeling right now. All right? So my inventions have capitalized on those things, and it's made with layers. And, it's, and that's why it's so powerful. Professor Martin Paul, P-A-L-L, -L, P -A -L -L, uh, Professor Emeritus at the University of Washington, if I'm remembering correctly, he noticed something about the membranes of our cells. And, you know, a cell is a really tiny thing, right? So the membrane is really, really tiny. And what he noticed is that the, is that the energy potential in, from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom gets stepped up 7.2 million times in that tiny space. So I looked at that and I said, well, how can we see if we can't duplicate that in some manner? Not as tiny as that, but in a manner that's, that works for us. And I came up with the heartfelt energizer because it steps it up, the energy. Just like the membrane steps up 7.2 million times. Now. Before we get to that, I want to talk about uh, the wavelengths that we ha that we get from the sun and from even from the stars. Hard to imagine we get energy from the stars, but we do to some extent. And I want to talk about oak tree and ourselves and compare the two. An oak tree requires four things to be 100 feet tall, strong as an ox, and where, where do they live? A hundred years? I don't know. They live a long time, right? And I bumped into one one time with my car backing up, going about two miles an hour. And, you know, I, I got the feeling that the oak tree hits back. It doesn't just stand there. It's like it punches back. Because it jolted that car unbelievably. You know, I was just barely backing up. So it takes four things. It takes a seed. It takes minerals that it gets from the earth, water it gets from the sky, and sunlight. Those four things. That's all it takes to grow. We are the same way. We get a seed from our parents. We have minerals in our body. We drink water, and we get the rays from the sun. Those rays are irregular. They're called fractal for that reason, like fraction, because one wave is taller than the other, you know, and some are skinny and some are fat. So they're fractal, they're very irregular, like music is irregular in its, and we listen to that and it, and it makes us feel good. A lot of man-made uh, waves are pulsed 
Now, the man-made waves, people will tell you, oh, well, they're not nearly as strong as the sun. The sun's energy is orders of magnitude greater than anything you could get from a cell tower, whether it's 4G, 3G, 5G, or the smart beater that's on, your, on the wall of your house. You know, I call them smart beaters, not smart meters, because they beat you up pretty smartly. Those waves are pulsed. Then you say, well, so what? What, is, what does that mean? Well, think of an alarm clock. I had a dream one time there was an alarm clock that was ringing, and I unplugged it, and it just kept going and going and going. And I kept trying to unplug you know, and it wouldn't stop. And it was driving me nuts. You can imagine it on an alarm clock or, or a phone that wouldn't stop ringing. It's not nearly as strong as the waves of the sun, is it? Not even, not even a thousand trillion 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 times less. It's really minor. But that alarm clock, that telephone can drive you absolutely mad. It's like Chinese torture, drip, dripping of the water. Boom, boom, boom. Tiny. Tesla, Nikola Tesla, the fellow that brought us alternating current about 150 years ago, He's, <laughs> he, he put a little device out of a building that was under construction. And it started moving, the, and it put a pulse on it. And it, that pulse started making the building go back and forth, and, and the workmen all came down. And you might have heard of that bridge. I think it's the Tacoma Narrow Bridge. It got a wind, and it hit a certain frequency, a certain pulse. And it started the vibration of that bridge tiny, tiny bit. And it got more and more and more. And you may have seen videos of it. It finally sp almost spun around and collapsed. So it's not the size or the strength of the wave. It's the pulse. The pulse of an alarm clock, the pulse of a phone, any of that, the pulse of a 5G tower or a 4G tower or or your wireless phone, or the microwave oven, or the office equipment, all that stuff, all that wireless stuff is just wearing us out. And in fact, in our body, I hope you find this to be interesting, there are these little things, they're tubules, they call them microtubules because they're so tiny. They're the same size as your DNA, <clears throat> the same radius, which is kind of interesting because they they organize your DNA. And they do it electronically through voltage. They're electrical. And they're like flutes. They have little fingers. Here's, let's say if this is the, the uh, uh, like this. Let's say this is your the, the tubule going this way, the tube. It's got little fingers that walk across it like this. There are little holes there, and it walks across, playing the flute to organize your DNA. And what if it's subjected, and these are really, really, really tiny, subjected to really, really, really tiny pulses, say 25 billion of them a second. Well, let's picture that that flute is a flute that's being played in Carnegie Hall, and you're up in the rafters, and that musician who is a master is playing that thing and it's bringing a tear to your eye because it's so beautiful because those those waves are fractal and it's a very soft note not powerful and it's and it's causing hormonal changes in your body it's bringing tears to your face it doesn't take much but now imagine that the flute player hit the wrong note because somebody was bumping his two, his flute. Everybody, a thousand people in the audience could go, <gasps> and like that. That's what the 5G and the 4G and 3G are doing to us. They're changing the notes. And so over time, a little bit of our DNA is not being made properly, and then a little bit more. And a little bit more. And we wonder why we're tired, why we feel irritated by the sun. 
is because these fractal or these pulsed waves are not what our body requires. So my invention, I believe, changes those fract those those pulsed waves into fractal waves. You say, well, how do I know that? Well, look, my body's working properly. It's making the tissue the way it's supposed to be made. That's proof enough for me. Now I'm going to show it to you, give you an example of it. I'm going to bring it up here. It is going to make a noise because it's, I got it turned on. And here we go. And it's kind of, I got it caught up here, the line. Uh, been doing a lot of stuff here recently. And you can hear it whoop, whoop, whoop. And you say, well, how can I do anything? Well, it's got, it, it's using George's Lakowski's um, inventions as part of it. He, he was reversing cancer. Now, I don't say I reverse cancer. If, if that happens, I just call that a heartfelt, or excuse me, a Hall of Fame coincidence. And just because that happened to a man 150 miles away, who had stage four pancreatic cancer in three weeks, his doctor said it, he had to use a magnifying glass to see it. I would still call that a Hall of Fame coincidence because I don't do any diagnosing, I don't do any prescribing, I don't, these are not treatments, these are just fractal waves neutralizing the kind of waves that are actually good for us. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit just so it doesn't make so much noise. You might even have noticed, some of you watching this, that you were feeling a little relaxed. And you say, well, how can that be? Maybe it's a coincidence. Or maybe you didn't really notice. And now that I bring it to your attention, you're not, yeah, I'm feeling a little more relaxed. Because this is electronics, and just like you're watching a music video at home, you know, the music that was, a video was made 10, 20, 30 years ago, and it transmits through the screen, picked up by the receivers on this end, and out of your speakers on your end. This is the same thing. It transmits. I'm trying to bring this over here. The cords. Uh, I got. A, I got a. What do you call it? You know, a bunch of plugins there. It's a little bit difficult to hold this here, but let me see if I can get this for you. So you might notice, and whether you do or not, you can probably notice that I look young for my age. I'm going to set this down if I can find a space for it. You wouldn't believe how many wires I have down here. Yeah. So, thanks. So, that invention is what is helping me to feel happy during 2020 and helping me to shed the weight that I've lost because it's increasing my membrane potential. I didn't talk about that, but you have that, your body gets the membrane potential from your ATP. You might have heard about that in school. And you get, the more ATP you have working for you, the more energy you're gonna have. And it's gonna shine out like a light, because it is a light. You can see the membrane potential, the light coming off of the cell of the membrane potential with dark, field microscopy or microscope. So I hope this has helped you to understand how we can solve this problem. And, and let me ask you, do you know of any other solution that will actually work? It's not that your solution wouldn't work if it were applied. There are a lot of really good solutions to what the problems are right now are solvable. However, since people are feeling so tired and irritable, everybody's at everybody's throats. So we don't get anywhere. And I should mention to you that there's a certain city in China 
there was a showcase for 5G. Can you guess which one it was? They announced it October 31st. I announced uh, on that day or the next day, as soon as I saw the news, that they were going to be in big, big trouble. And sure enough, videos started getting leaked with people twitching. Healthy people on their way to work or whatever they were doing, at work, twitching and dying. Those are electrical responses. And since then, since th that happened, that scared everybody in the city because they're walking down the street. You got a city of 11 million people, and you're seeing people fall down. You know, one there, one there, and, and next thing you know, you've seen two or three. You're like, oh my God, people freaked. The streets empty. It became a ghost town. So that word got out, and now we're living through it. And then because of various various uh, agendas that people have, they're pushing it because they feel that they can use it to their advantage. Pulsed waves can do some serious things. They can make people fall flat on the street, and they can cause famines because of the, of the reactions that we have. Now, I mentioned before that about 7.7, 7.8 million people it would be impossible for any one person or even a hundred thousand people or a million people to convince the other 7.7 .7 million that everything's going to be all right. However, when you start to experience what I'm experiencing, where I've maintained my muscle despite not exercising, I've shed a hundred pounds without even trying to, I didn't try to diet, I just wasn't hungry. And the reason that this worked is that it increased the amount of negative oxygen ions that my body was absorbing. And you can look on Wikipedia, any biochemist will tell you this, that if you can get enough ox negative oxygen ions into your body, it'll burn your fat up. So I I've been running, burning up my fat, giving me plenty of energy. It turns it into air and water and gives you energy. And you feel good and you feel happy. So when a person experiences this, it doesn't require any convincing. They get it. And I'm not the only person. There's a lady who was working at Walmart and cleaning the toilets. She just had a whirling bus machine, and she started using it five, ten minutes a day. She was cleaning the toilets. She hated her job. In four days, she was singing Christmas carols, and she's also started shedding weight. She wrote to me three months later and said she was still singing, even though she was still cleaning the toilets. She was singing while she's cleaning the toilets. One man told me that, well, first I got to tell you, when he was a child, I think he was under a year, I think he might have been three months old, he was in a severe car accident. He got thrown from the car, he was underneath the hood of the, not the hood, but the, the, uh, the roof of the car. Underneath. Should have been dead. It was a miracle that he lived. But you can imagine he's had problems since then, health problems and disabilities, right? He's now in his early 60s, and he has told me that he has come up with three inventions, two of which will change the industry, and the third one will produce about a billion dollars. I don't know if that's a billion a year or a billion, I don't know, a billion. That's a, that's a good number, all right? So his mind is working clearly. After 60 years of, of you know, having his brain crunched when he was a baby, Right? So these are the kinds of things that are possible. And it's not surprising because, remember, each one of your electrons is 10, or excuse me, a thousand trillion, trillion, trillion times more powerful than gravity. You have that in every cell of your body, in every atom of your body, in every electron of your body. So it's not surprising that you can have this. 
you know, we had a Garden of Eden, they say, and I believe that. And it disappeared. But with this ability, we could create many, many, many gardens of Eden. Why not? God gave us one. He, he, I'm sure God wants to give us a lot of them. And I, I'll leave you with this. You know, at 10 to the 39th, I like to think of it as, as a hotel room number. Then you walk up to the door, 10 to the 39, and you go, oh, I'm here. Now, would you set your bags down there and say, I'm going to sleep in the hall? Probably not. God gave us a key. And it's a key of gratitude. You scan that key, and it opens the door. But in this room, it opens up to room 10 to the 40th. That's 10 times stronger than 10 to the 39th. And, and 10 to the 39th is a big, big number because it's 1,000 trillion, trillion, trillion. So now we're talking about 10,000 trillion, trillion, trillions. Right? And I believe this is sort of a proof of God because water can't make water. A proton can't make a proton. An electron can't make an electron. There had to be something greater to make all those things. And he said, it's impossible for you to comprehend 10 to the 40th or 10 to the 41st with when you only have 10 to the 39th. But I'm giving you the key to open the door. And the key is made out of gratitude. So if you, and this is just a like an easy way to visualize it for me and I, hopefully for you, that you can see yourself in that hallway at 10 to the 39th and you just feel so grateful for having this information. And so that gratitude opens the door and now you can experience a glimpse of God. And that glimpse is so stupendous that it's unlike anything you can imagine. Can you imagine the most beautiful arboretum with trees and flowers and lakes and dragonflies and frogs croaking and, and birds chirping but this is lit up in a way like you've seen in the movies, you know, something shiny, shiny. But this is beyond 10 to the 39th. So you, we don't, you haven't seen that light until you get to that doorway and you scan it. And it's 10 times brighter. And you find out, oh, this is just the beginning. So yes. We have a power, each one of us, not a power, but an endless power inside of us on our physical level that we can turn 2020 into the greatest year ever. Ever. Because physically, you can have a heartfelt energizer. And I have a baby heartfelt energizer that's under $100. Uh, you have to contact me on Facebook, and my name is K E L L E Y Item E I D E M because I don't have a website that really does it very well. It's called whirlingbliss.com. You can get the, you can get this one. It's in a stand-up fan that I send to you if you're you know in the United States. Um, the bigger one, and. Or the smaller one. The smaller one's super powerful, but it's a it's something you can start with. Or you can go to uh, Whirling Bliss, or excuse me, Patreon.com/slash Whirling Whirling Bliss, and you can have me direct one of these towards you because it goes around the globe seven times a second. So you can experience it that way too, and you can just remind yourself whenever you think about ten to the thirty ninth that it's coming to you. And then you can actually give yourself permission say, would it be all right if I remember to have that energy present with me all the time 
because your brain makes peptides whenever you think about it. And if you make an agreement with yourself to make those peptides, you can make those peptides. So for like, I don't know, seven bucks, 11 bucks, you can have one or two of these energizers pointed towards you 24 hours a day until you get your own. Having your own is a little bit better because you're getting a massive amount of negative ions. I call them bliss particles and they're extraordinary. The energizer will do the same but here you get even more. So you know it's, it's a powerful, powerful tool. And I, I hope you've seen in my expression in this entire time, I, I, I think I've been talking for over 30 minutes. Let me put my glasses on. Wow, 36 minutes almost. Um, and you can see the joy that's in me that's just, and I'm just talking, and I don't edit these videos, and you can see that from the little fluffs that I've made in it. I don't edit them. You can just, you can see this is me. And I, like I said, I'm over 70 years old now. Oh, 70 in a few days. <laughs> and I got muscles, and I'm happy, and I'm getting healthier and healthier all the time. So you can join me in this, and we can turn the world around. And you can share this video with your friends, because this is the one way that we can turn this around. I don't know of any other way that we can do this. You see, I've turned myself completely around. Completely around. Oh, by the way, there's a nursing home facility in a hospital. It's, uh, where is it? It's over this way. It's about a mile away. And I know a lady there. She's 99 years old. I haven't been able to visit her since March. So I've got a couple of the energizers directed to her place. Do you know that not a single person in that nursing home has gotten either the flu or COVID? None of the patients have gotten it. None. Now, normally they get hit hard by the flu because it's a nursing facility and those people are in very compromised health situation. But not this year. Not this year. Zero. That's a Hall of Fame healing coincidence, although they didn't get the flu to heal from, because their, their membrane potential blocks it. And I, I don't know if I described it to you. You see, viruses, it's real simple. Viruses have needles, and the needles are negatively charged. Your membrane potential is a negative field. So when your membrane potential is pumping through adequate ATP function, it's impossible for any of the 380 trillion viruses in your body to make you sick. Yeah, you have 380 trillion of them. And so you can stay healthy. And you do. You see, right? I, I go submit to you that you didn't get the flu in the last minute or the last minute before that or the one before that or any of the minutes in your life. Maybe you've gotten the flu a lot. Maybe you've gotten it every year. Let's say you're 50 years old. Maybe you've gotten it 50 times. But all those other times you didn't get it. Because your body efficiently blocks all 380 trillion from making you sick. The viruses have a, a role. They are there when one of your cells dies, they help to devour it. Because if you didn't get rid of the cells, they'd accumulate and they would rot. And we would smell bad. So they have a job to do. That's why they're there. We wouldn't have 380 trillion of them if they weren't supposed to be there. You don't have to worry about wiping counters. I've made 50 videos and I've probably put 20 of them online of me over the last six months doing this. Touching my eyes, my ears, and my nose, and my mouth. All the stuff that back to my nose and my eyes. All that. You don't get sick. You know, this, this is not how you get the flu. You get the flu or COVID when your membrane potential is down. And what lowers it? 5G, Wi-Fi, 3G. All those things tend to lower. So we want to get the flu back to normal levels. And we can do that. Well, I've gone on quite some time, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. 
and except for curling that weight. <laughs> I hope you can join me in the excitement and thrilling episode of my life and your life. Right now, I'm living here in 2020 with you. And look at me. It's, I'm like this all the time, practically. Almost all the time. I'm a work in progress, but I'm doing pretty well. Well, you take care, and God bless, and get yourself a heartfelt energizer, or sign up on my Patreon site, and get yourself a baby heartfelt energizer. Somehow, some way, get this into your life. Because life is grand. And 10 to the 39th to you. Take care and God bless.